going to make mini chicken and mushroom pies. Let's get started. For the crust, 2 cups all-purpose flour, 3 4 teaspoon baking powder, 1 tablespoon sugar, 1 4 teaspoon salt, 1 third cup premium margarine, 1 third cup shortening, 1 third to 1 half cup of water. For the chicken and mushroom filling, you need 2 tablespoons butter, 2 tablespoons all-purpose flour, 1 teaspoon chopped garlic, 1 fourth cup chopped onions, 1 chicken breast, you boil and you cube to measure about 1 cup, 1 4 teaspoon white pepper, 3 fourths cup of diced mushrooms drained, 2 tablespoons of diced red bell peppers, 1 fourth cup of chicken stock, 3 fourths cup of all purpose cream, 1 half teaspoon nutmeg, 2 teaspoon chicken powder, salt to taste. 1 half cup boiled carrots, 1 half cup boiled potatoes, 1 half cup cube or grated cheese. We heat the butter. Then we have garlic, saute garlic, and onions. You don't have to wait for the butter to melt completely. You cook until the onions are soft. And then we will add in bell pepper. Bell, bell pepper is, uh, I use this basically for the color. You can also add uh, green bell pepper. All right, and then I'm going to add in flour. Next. So you make sure that you have sauteed your spices before you add in your flour. All right. And then, I'm going to add all-purpose cream. If you don't have all-purpose cream, milk will do. Evaporated milk or full cream milk. And then we need some chicken stock. When you boil the chicken. Alright, then we season this. We have uh, chicken powder black or white pepper then I always put a little nutmeg and then salt I'll just add half of the salt first all right once this boils we're going to add the chicken then you have the carrots and the potatoes you have mushrooms. This mushroom is from the can. And you mix this well. And then we have cheese. You can cube the cheese. This one, uh, they grated the cheese, but that's all right too. And then you season this to taste. All right. Then we will cool this. I think I've added enough salt. I didn't add all of the, uh, oh well, this was just salt to taste. I think I added only like one four teaspoon. Okay, let's prepare the crust. Let's prepare the crust. I have here uh, flour, baking powder, salt, sugar. You mix this together. You may not sift the flour. For paste, uh, for pie crust, you may or may not sift the flour. And then I have here shortening, and I have here margarine, or you can use butter. All right, you can use a mixer for this one, but I use my hands. I just do this. You rub the shortening and the butter and the margarine with the palm of your hand like this. Just rub it in, okay? This is how you cut in the shortening. As I said, if you have a mixer, you can uh, put this in the mixer. But in the mixer, there's always a chance that you overmix. So for 
pie crust, I like to mix it by hand. Because by feel, you know if you have mixed it enough or not. See? This one, once you see the particles are like this, they're not super fine, but you can see that it has been distributed in the flour. Then we add water. Water is variable. Sometimes you need to add more water, sometimes you need to add less. What you're looking at is you should have enough water that all of the uh, ingredients will bind. To make this bind, you just press it together. Okay. Once you see that everything is sticking together, that's done. You can wrap it in plastic or sometimes what I do is I just cover it with a bowl. Okay. I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded. I divided the dough into 30 gram portions. Okay. And then we roll out each uh, two portions per pie. So we have the body and the cover. Doesn't have to be very round because we're going to finish this with a cutter. Okay, so make sure you dust so it does not stick and then we put the filling. You know I don't like pies with very little filling where you're eating most crust and very little palaman. No? So we want to avoid that. Uh, some would use egg yolk, but water will do. So, before you cut, you make sure that it's enclosed. And then put this in the center. If you don't have a cutter, you can use a, uh, a can, an empty can. Okay. Then, here. You can also form this like an empanada or you can form this in a rectangular shape and then put the filling and then fold it over. It's like a pocket. You can also do that. But for today, this is what we're going to use. make. Okay. Alright, let me continue with the rest. Here's our mini chicken and mushroom pie. We'll egg wash this. I don't usually egg wash the side, just the uh, center because the sides are thin so there's a tendency for it to burn if you egg wash it. And then we'll put this in a 375 oven for about uh, 30 to 35 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes or until it's brown because we're just cooking the crust, the filling is already cooked. So we need the uh, crust to brown to get the uh, to get the caramel color or the brown color. Okay, I, I'm just using up all of the eggs. Okay, after you do this, always make a cut, just one in the middle. This is to vent the steam, so that when uh, you heat this in the oven. The top will not come off because uh, there is a hole for the space, uh, there is a vent for the steam or a hole for the steam to escape. Otherwise, the top will be detached. Okay? So let's put this in the oven. Here is our mini chicken and mushroom pie. You can, by the way, you can replace chicken with tuna. <laughs>